Welcome to the Escalation Gun Guide. In today's video we are going to discuss all of the new guns, go over their details including IDs, range, damage to players, raiding damage and much more. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more guides on this map, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. If reached 200 likes in the first 24 hours, I will post a full progression guide of this map from start till end game. Also make sure to subscribe to not miss any future videos, each one helps the channel grow its on. In the last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. If you're watching and you want to claim a prize, please join my discord, which is in the description below and contact me over there. Today we're going through another one which is a blossoming nerdy glasses. To win this mythical make sure that you've liked, subscribed and comment something below and if you are a channel member you'll also have a higher chance of winning. You guys want to start your own unturned escalation server either for your network or just want to play with your friends? Look no further than Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting you can set up your server very easy, they offer high performance servers and the interface is super user friendly. When I started hosting my own network I had no idea how to do anything but with Pine Hosting's navigation I learned the basics in a very short time. They have locations scattered across the world and their pricing is also super cheap and they also cater to a lot of games that includes Rust, Ark and Minecraft. A feature that I absolutely love is the ability that you can install plugins and mods just by clicking once. You already have another server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Bind Hosting will provide personalized help to help you move your servers. If you're ready to start your own unturned servers don't miss the link in the description below and make sure to use the code LDG for a huge 30% discount and let's get straight into the video. The first gun we're going to go to is the M1911. The ID for this is 51227. It is a rare pistol and it is a semi-gun. The attachment that you can put on it is a barrel and its range is 400 meters. It is an action trigger weapon and the damage that it gives is 25 to the limb, 25 to the body and 41.25 to the head. It takes intermediate rounds and can be upgraded to suppressed but baffle kit. The next gun we're going to go over is the Nosus 12. The ID for this gun is 51239. It is a rare gun, it is also a semi-weapon. As for the attachment that it takes, it takes only a barrel. The range is quite low being at 50 meters and it is an action trigger. The damage that this gives 11 to the limb and 11 to the body and 13.2 to the head. And this holds 6 shots. The next weapon is the walker. The walker is the first legendary we're going to go through today and its ID is 51211. It can be both auto and semi and the attachments that this gun takes are barrel, sights and grips. The range is 400 meters and it has a 333 rounds per minute fire rate. The damage that it gives is 31 to the limb and 31 to the body and 46.5 to the head. This takes high caliber ammunition and it's used marksman ammunition which raids. Every single weapon that takes marksman ammunition means that this will damage buildables. Next we have the Blunt Force 12. The ID for this is 51240. It is a rare weapon and it is a semi-weapon. It takes barrels and sights. Its range is at 40 meters and it is an action pump shotgun. The damage that it gives is 13 to the limb and 13 to the body and 15.5 to the head. This weapon can also be upgraded to suppressed by using a baffle kit. Next we have the Cavalry. The ID for the Cavalry is 51212. It is an epic weapon and it cakes auto and semi. The attachments that you can put on it are barrels and sights. The range is 300 meters and it has a fire rate of 500 rounds per minute. The damage that it gives is 20 to the limb and 20 to the body and 25 to the head. The damage fall off does begin at 10 meters down to 50% at 50 meters and this takes SMG magazines. Next we have the Centauri. The Centauri's ID is 51242. It is a rare weapon and it only can be shot with semi. The attachments that it takes are all of them which are barrel, grip, sight and tactical. The range is 300 meters and it is a tr action trigger weapon. The damage that it gives is 30 to the limb and 30 to the body and 37 to the head. This takes assault rifle magazines. It does come with a dot sight and can be upgraded to suppressed with baffle kits. Next we have Cobalt. Cobalt's ID is 51224. It is a rare weapon and it is a semi-weapon. The attachments that this one takes are barrels and sights and its range is 150 meters. The damage that it gives is 38 to the limb and 38 to the body and 47 to the head. The ammunition that this takes are revolver speed loaders. Next we have Crown. Crown's ID is 51218. The rarity is rare and it is a semi-weapon. You cannot put any attachments on this weapon but it has 500 meter range. It is an action trigger weapon and the damage is quite high being 70 to the limb and to the body and 122 to the head, making it a one-shot headshot weapon. The only downside to this weapon is that it only holds one bullet. This can be crafted with a toolbox, manual parts, metal scrap and ingots. To craft crown bullets you need nitroglycerin and metal ingots. 
Next, we have CSO85. The ID for this weapon is 51208. It is a rare weapon and it is a semi weapon. The attachments that it takes are grip, sight, and tacticals. This weapon also does have high range, being at 500 meters. This is also the only action bolt sniper in this map. The damage that it gives is 59 to the limb, 79 to the body, and 108 to the head. This weapon does come with a 10x scope and it takes 8 times 308 rounds. This weapon can also be upgraded to suppress using a battle kit. Next, we have the Armstrong. The ID for this gun is 51200. It is a rare weapon and it can be either a semi or a 2x burst. You cannot put any attachments to this gun and its range is at 15 meters. The damage that it gives is 14 to the limb and 14 to the body and 15 to the head. It only holds 2 bullets and this weapon takes 20 gauge shells. Next, we have ECS 25. The ID for this weapon is 51216. It is an epic weapon and can only be used as semi. It takes all of the attachments, which are barrel, grip, sight, and tacticals. Its range is 400 meters and it is an action trigger weapon. Damage that it gives is 32 to the limb and 32 to the body and 48 to the head. This weapon can also raid since it takes marksman magazines and it comes with its own sights. You can reload marksman magazines with high caliber and this weapon can also be upgraded to suppressed with a baffle kit. Next, we have the MPE. MPE's ID is 51216. 1, 2, 2, 3. It is an epic weapon and it can be either a semi or a 3 times burst. The attachments that this gun takes are barrel sights and tacticals and its range is 300 meters. The damage that it gives is 17 to the limb and 17 to the body and 19 to the head. This weapon takes pistol magazines and it also has a damage fall off which begins at 10 meters down to 60% and 50 meters. You can also upgrade this weapon to suppress with a baffle kit. Next, we have the Tony Jin. Tony Jin's ID is 51233, which is a legendary weapon. This takes semi or three times burst as well. It takes barrels, sides, grips, and tacticals, and its range is 300 meters. Damage that it gives is 20 to the limb and 20 to the body, and 32 to the head. This weapon comes with its own dot sight and chambered in military ammunition, reloaded by intermediate ammunition. This weapon can also be upgraded to subbreast with Battle Kit. Next, we have the Falcon Point 50, which is ID is 51217 and is a legendary pistol. It is only a semi weapon and you cannot put any attachments on it. Its range is quite high for a pistol, being at 400 meters. The damage that it gives is also pretty high. It gives 55 to the limb and 55 to the body, and 66 to the head, and it holds 8 rounds. This weapon does take pistol magazines and you can reload it with intermediate rounds. Next, we have the Compact. The Compact's ID is 51229 and it is a rare weapon. This weapon can be either a semi or an auto and it takes barrels, sides, scripts, and tacticals. Its range is 300 meters and its fire rate is 600 rounds per minute. The damage that it gives is 20 to the limb and 20 to the body and 25 to the head. This weapon does take assault rifle magazines and reloads with intermediate ammunition. You can also upgrade this weapon to suppress with a baffle kit. Next, we have the Government. The Government's ID is 51213 and it is a rare weapon. It's a semi weapon and it takes barrels and sights. Its range is 500 meters and the damage that it gives is 40 to the limb and 40 to the body and 50 to the head. This weapon also is a heavy weapon which means that it can raid. It takes 8 times 0.308 rounds and can be upgraded to suppressed also with a baffle kit. Next we have the Hermes. The Hermes ID is 51209 and this is a legendary weapon. It is also a semi weapon. The only attachment that you can put on this is a sight and it is an action rocket. This is basically a grenade launcher chambered in 40mm grenades. Next, we have the HMT250, which is ID is 51202. It's also a legendary weapon and it's an auto gun. The only attachment you can put on this is the tactical, and its range is 150 meters. This is basically an action minigun, and its rate is 429 rounds per minute. The damage that it gives is quite high, having 35 to the limb and to the body, and 43 to the head. This weapon does raid, but if you do equip it, it will reduce your movement speed by 20%. Next, we have the Luti. The Luthi's ID is 51221 and it is an epic weapon. This weapon has actually something quite different, where basically if you click once, it will just not stop shooting. It is basically 50 times burst. It's a bit hard to control, but it's still pretty cool. The attachments that it takes are barrel sides, grips and tacticals, and its range is 300 meters. The damage that it gives is 15 to the limb and 15 to the body, and 18 to the head. This weapon does have the highest rates of fire, having 1500 rounds per minute, but it is the worst for accuracy. The damage falloff starts at 0 meters down to 53.30% percent at 50 meters and it takes smg magazines next we have private private's id is 51205 and it is a rare weapon this weapon can only be used as semi and you can put barrels and sights on it its range is quite high at 400 meters and it is an action trigger weapon the damage is 32 to the limb and 32 to the body and 40 to the head this weapon can also raid and it can be upgraded to suppress the baffle kit Next, we have the Maple Strike. The Maple Strike's ID is 32000 and it is an epic weapon. You can only use it as auto or semi. You can put all of the attachments, including barrel, grip, sight, and tactical, and it's range is 200 meters. Its fire rate is 500 rounds per minute, and it gives 24 to the limb, 
32 to the body and 44 to the head. And this takes military magazines. Next we have the Noct. The Noct's ID is 51219 and it is a rare weapon. This weapon can be used as an auto or a semi and you can put barrels, sides, grips and tacticals on it. Its range is 300 meters and its fire rate is 600 rounds per minute. The damage that it gives is 17 to the limb and 17 to the body and 22 to the head. This weapon does hold 100 rounds in it and it comes with a dot sight and takes LMG magazines. This can be reloaded with assault rifle magazines or intermediate rounds and can be upgraded to suppressed with a baffle kit. Next we have the Poseidon, which is the rocket launcher. The ID for this is 51230 and it is a rare weapon and obviously it can be only be used as semi. It doesn't take any attachments and its range is only 5 meter explosion radius. The damage that it gives is 90 to the limb, 90 to the body and 90 to the head, almost killing players instantly. You can only have one rocket in it though. It does give 100 structure damage and 150 barricade damage. Next we have the Bicey. The Bicey's ID is 51228, it is an epic weapon and it can be used as an auto or a semi. You can put barrels, sides, grips and tacticals on it and its range is 300 meters having 600 rounds per minute as a fire rate. Its damage is quite low, having 15 to the limb, 15 to the body, and 18 to the head. This does take SMG magazines, and the damage fall off begins at 10 meters down to 50% of 50 meters, and can also be upgraded to suppressed with a Bethlehem kit. Next we have the Valkyrie ERG-2, which is basically a railgun. The ID for this is 51226, it is a legendary weapon and it is a semi-weapon. You cannot put any attachments to this, but its range is the highest, having at 600 meters. The damage that it gives is 40 to the limb and 40 to the body, and 80 to the head. This is also a raiding weapon, it gives 150 structure damage and takes somewhat slugs. This weapon can basically be found in one of the tier 1 dead zones in the armory. Sabot slugs also spawn literally right next to it. If you salvage this weapon, you also get some Hive tier fuses. Next we have the Acid. The Acid's ID is 51203, it is a rare weapon and it goes with auto. You can put barrels, sides, grips and tacticals and its range is 300 meters. It also has a pretty high fire rate at 600 rounds per minute. The damage that it gives is 19 to the limb and 19 to the body and 23 to the head. This weapon comes with a dot sight and takes up assault rifle magazines and intermediate ammunition to reload. Next we have the Cryogen 12, which is an auto shotgun. The ID for this weapon is 51235 and it is a rare weapon. As I said earlier, it can be auto or semi and it takes all the attachments, which are barrels grips, sights, and tacticals. Its range is quite low though having only 50 meters, but its fire rate is quite high being 231 rounds per minute. The damage that it gives is 12 to the limb, 12 to the body, and 13 to the head. It takes 12 gauge shells and can be upgraded to suppressed with a Bethel kit. Next we have the RSS-03, which its ID is 51237 and it is a legendary weapon. It is also a semi-weapon and takes barrels, sights, and tacticals. Its range is 400 meters, and it is an action trigger weapon. The damage that it gives is 40 to the limb and 40 to the body and 60 to the head. This weapon also does raid since it takes marksman magazines and can be upgraded to suppressed with a baffle kit. Next we have the Tonto. Tonto's ID is 51244 and it is a rare weapon. It is a semi-weapon and it only takes a barrel. The range is 400 meters and it is an action trigger. The damage that this gives is 30 to the limb and 30 to the body and 49 to the head. This weapon does take pistol magazines and can be upgraded to suppressed with a baffle kit. Next we have the Ulfbert. The Ulfbert's ID is 51220 and it is a rare weapon. You can use this as a semi or a 3x burst and it takes barrels, grips, sights and tacticals and its range is 300 meters. The damage that it gives is 21 to the limb and 21 to the body and 26 to the head and it comes with a dot sight and takes assault rifle magazines. Next we have the Uze. The Uze's ID is 51222 and it is an epic weapon. It can be used as an auto or a semi and its attachments are barrels, grips, sights and tacticals. Its range is 300 meters and it has a 500 rounds per minute fire rate. The damage that it gives is 20 to the limb and 20 to the body and 25 to the head. This takes SMG magazines and the damage falloff begins at 10 meters down to 50% at 50 meters. This weapon can also be upgraded to suppressed with Bethel kit. Next we have the Ares. The Ares ID is 51277, it is a legendary rocket launcher and it's only a semi. The range is quite low at 15 meters, but the damage is quite high at 100, damage to the limb, 100 to the body and 100 to the head. You can hold up to 4 bullet counts. This can give 400 structure and 400 barricade damage and the only way to get this is from an airdrop. And finally we have the Weebly. The Weebly's ID is 51201, it is a rare weapon and a semi weapon. You can only put a barrel on this gun and its range is 150 meters. The damage that it gives is also a bit high for pistol though, having 35 to the limb and 35 to the body and 52 to the head. And this takes revolver speed loader. And that is it ladies and gentlemen, I really hope that you guys did learn something from this. Now the time that I'm recording this, the map is not out yet, so there may be a few changes here and there, but if there are, I would be sure to update them in the description below. Let me know which is your favorite weapon, and let me know if you guys would like to see any more guides of this map. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!